But if you go and visit the countries, even though, of course, the growth rate in India is maybe a couple of percentage points less than the growth rate in, in China, but it's sometimes been very close in recent years, uh, you still look at a country that uh, has a, a pretty poor infrastructure in large parts of the country, the roads are a real mess. You wonder how these rickety-looking lorries can, uh, that, that dash from place to place can really achieve anything, but there are lots of them. And uh, you go to China, and you find they've got these magnificent uh, four-lane motorways, beautiful uh, tarmac. An occasional lorry goes along them. I exaggerate, but there seems a very clear difference. Uh, and I, I thought, I'm really just giving you this as an example of, uh, of what an economist thinks. So I, I think I want to know why there might be that difference, and is it that... Uh, somehow India manages to use capital more efficiently than China, but doesn't produce as much of it. Uh, where uh, China produces an awful lot of capital, I mean real capital, I don't mean financial capital, obviously. And uh, however, it's rather luxurious and uh, they don't use it to its full ability. Um, I looked at the figures and it appears that indeed uh, Productivity of capital in China is half of what it is in India. Uh, and of course, it's fascinating then to find that you can have differences of that magnitude between countries, that it would actually be possible for a country to achieve a high growth rate with considerably lower investment. Uh, and that throws extra light on the, the relative capabilities of the, of the different countries, which uh, I think just changes uh, the way one thinks of them.